Are you looking for a way to write out your guitar ideas without having to shell out money for Guitar Pro? In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to write your ideas down by using a free Guitar Pro alternative called MuseCore. By writing down your guitar ideas, you have another way of bolstering your creativity. Plus, you'll be able to share your written ideas with other musicians. Get ready because I'm about to show you how to create your own musical project from start to finish using this awesome free software. To make sure you don't fall behind on your guitar progress, I want to throw in my free Guitar Gains Cheat Sheet for you as a gift just for watching this video. This resource will help you make consistent progress, conquer any goal, and break free from any poor practice habits such as practicing in waves. Take your playing to the next level by clicking the link in the description or by going to zacksharguitar.com and downloading this quick free resource. Then come back and we can write our first project together by using MuseCore. All right, so first I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your project before we can start. So what you're going to want to do is load up MuseCore 4 and click on New Score. Select Solo. Then I usually do Guitar Plus Tablature. And then click Next. Make sure you don't click Done at this point because there's still some stuff you're going to want to add. So here we're at Additional Score Information. So here you can adjust the key, the time signature, the tempo, and the number of measures. And you can also put in your title information down here. So I'm going to be transcribing a song called Skin to Bone by Linkin Park. So I know that song is in A minor. So here you have your keys. These are the major keys right here. I'm going to click on the minor selection and click on A minor. This song is already in 4-4 four, four time. I'm going to adjust the tempo by clicking on this little quarter note equals 120. I'm going to click this box that says show tempo marking on my score. And then I'm going to change the BPM or beats per minute to 160. For measures, I'm just going to put four. You can always add and delete measures later. So now I'm going to go to title. I'm going to call this skin to bone because that's the name of the song. And then under subtitle, I'm going to give the original artist some credit here and write originally by Lincoln Park. Okay, and then from here you can click done. Now we get to do some writing with this software. So to do that, you're gonna go over to this pencil icon and click it. And then from here you can select the note or rest value you would like to choose. I'm gonna choose eighth notes. And then from here you can click where on the staff or where on the tab you would like to put that note. So I clicked here, it defaults to the open string. I'm gonna click the number eight to signify the eighth fret because that is the note I wanna put there. Notice how when you input the note on the tab, it also puts the note on the staff above. Personally, I love this feature a lot because it saves you time from having to transcribe the same piece in two different ways. And so you can use the same process by using your mouse and clicking on each note you want to put in for your piece. Or in my opinion, I like to use the keyboard to do this because it makes the workflow a lot smoother and it makes things go by a lot quicker for me. So to do that, I use the arrow keys to go to the next note. So I go to the right because I want to put in a note after what I just entered there. And I want to go 
up to the B string. So I'm going to click on the down arrow and then I'm going to put my note in right there by using the numbers on my keyboard. And I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of the measure. And so if you want to write down a chord, the process is just as simple and it's very similar. You can start by putting in any note that makes up that chord. And then instead of going to the right to make the next note, all you got to do is go down or up. So I'm going to click rewind. I'm going to click my pencil here just to make sure I'm not putting in any notes I don't want to add. I'm going to click on the first note here and then I'm going to go up here and press play. This isn't exactly how I'm going to transcribe this particular song, but I am going to release a tutorial on how to play this song on guitar, even though it's kind of like a synth part. So stay tuned for that. And to make sure you don't miss it, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So that way you stay up to date and you can watch the lesson right when it comes out. You did it. Congrats on writing your first piece in MuseCore. I'm sure this software will be an awesome creative tool for you just as it is for me. You'll be able to share your ideas directly with other musicians to teach them how to play certain songs, or you can collaborate with them on shared compositions. Comment below and tell me if this is some software you want to check out, and if so, what are you going to use it to write first? If you follow the steps in this lesson each time you load up the software, you will have a really convenient way to generate and store your musical ideas. Along with the link for MuseCore, I've also linked my free Guitar Gains Cheat Sheet in the description for you to download as well. The Cheat Sheet will guide you through making consistent guitar progress, achieving your next musical goal, and it'll also give you the tools you need to eliminate poor practice habits. Again, all applicable links are in the description of this video, and you can also find the download link for the free Guitar Gains Cheat Sheet at at ZachSharGuitar.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Zach with Zach Shar Guitar, and I will see you in the next one.